So just when you thought that uh, Notebook was the coolest app you've ever seen, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it again. We liked it so much. We're gonna we're gonna do it again, uh, and this time we're going to back it uh, with Firestore as opposed to back with a SQLite database. So it's like New York, New York. The town's so nice they named it twice. So what I have here, uh, what I'd like to show you is the data model for uh, FireNote, and so I am on the Firebase console. And I have my my projects, which you know involve a lot of flipped classrooms and demos. But I'm going to click on FireNote, and we're going to get this view over here that we have. Recall that um, this project started as Firebase. It's still called Firebase in general. Um, Firebase has a real time database, which is now called Firestore. It used to be called Firebase, but now it's called Firestore. It has authentication, which we've already done, and it's got storage, which we're, we're going to look at today. So just to, to start where things are familiar, uh, the authentication uh, area is where you uh, manage your users. And we, we're going to do the same thing that we did uh, previously for the Flip Classroom for authentication. We're going to create the user that we call fake at example.com. Um, and uh, you know we, we have all the... Uh, the, the same things that we did there. So we're just enabling email password. So for your, your projects, you know, you might want to get fancier if you're, if you want to do game center or you want to do something else, uh, by all means, um, that's just usage. Okay. So that's authentication and we'll see a little bit of that code, um, in terms of structuring in the app. And then, uh, there's the, the database, you know, actually, I'm sorry, let, let, let me, let me, let me, um, Talk about storage first, just because storage is simpler. So storage is basically a file system. So we have uh, th um, there is ultimately a URL representation for all of these things. So you can sort of access um, uh, Firebase storage. I guess you call it Firestore storage. I don't know. The, the storage is sort of independent um, from the database. So you, you can access uh, the Fire storage uh, independently. And it just looks, uh, you can access, sorry, you can access it uh, using URLs, but you can also access it through the API and it looks like a regular file system. And so, um, you know, we have here an images uh, directory. And in the images directory, we have a bunch of images. And uh, you know these are these are very exciting images um, from our virtual scene, and you can see uh, the metadata for these images, um, the the size, the the type, and we're actually going to set the type in the um, uh, in in our code, and so it's it's useful to know that, and uh, that's how it knows how to um, um, how to decode these things. Uh, you might notice. Um, um, a couple of things. One, the uh, file name is this long, seemingly random string, and that is by design because uh, we named our files by timestamp for Notebook, which was super useful. Um, but in, in this case, we have a, a sort of an, a different constraint. The problem is um, I've got a handset and I'm taking a picture. You've got a handset, you're taking a picture. If we name by uh, timestamp, it's possible that we're taking a picture at the exact same time, especially if it's only down to the second. That's one possible problem. Another problem is that my clock and your clock are probably not exactly synchronized. And so the advantage that we had before in terms of uh, using timestamps was that then we could um, order our, our images by uh, file name and we'd get timestamp order. That's no longer going to work when you have different users. So. These uh, file names are sort of random strings, and they don't end in .jpg. Uh, I could have made them end in .jpg. JPG. Arguably, that would have been a good thing to do. But um, because we're setting the mime type, it, it doesn't matter. So, um, so you know, in our case, we only have one directory, and we store the images there. Um, and so that makes things simple. We don't store the images sort of in a user subdirectory or anything. It, it would make it harder to find, and it's not so necessary. The only other thing to, to notice uh, as far as uh, data is concerned when we're using Firebase is we need to be able to access this data. And there's a bunch of ways you can set up access control, most of which are complicated and 
might be necessary in a real app, but for your project and for this course, we're gonna keep things simple. And we do wanna have some access control because if you just let anyone in the world read and write your, your data, uh, you might find yourself uh, prone, prone to being abused uh, because there are uh, bad actors out there that actually look for readable and writable accounts and you know store stuff in them. So what we're just gonna say is, hey, uh, any uh, request that comes from an authorized user, i.e. a user who has logged in, uh, can read and write. Okay, this is a this is sort of not a production level of security, and especially when we have accounts like fake at example.com with you know bad passwords, um, this is not a, a lot of uh, security. But we also don't have any data of value in here, and if uh, someone starts to abuse it, we can just shut it down. So that's that, that's why we're doing it and for your for your um, project. I think that's acceptable. Okay, so these are the. Um, let me see. Can I get, can I get a can I get a URL for this? Is that, I mean, you can, yeah, see. So um, in the API, uh, you can get a URL and you can see that, you know, this URL doesn't even have like an, an HTTPS because it's not, uh, it's not a web file. It's a file in uh, Firestore. And so it's got this custom uh, author, uh, uh, protocol listed. Okay. Uh, other metadata, is there anything interesting in here? No, no, no other metadata like that. Okay, so that is that's the file system, and you know there's an interface here to upload files, and you can delete files by hand. Okay, now let's look at so um, again with Fire Note, we are doing the same thing with Notebook. We have notes, we have images. Um, so recall that in Firestore, everything is structured as collections, documents, collections. In our case, we have one global collection at the top, just called All Notes. And again, you can sort of imagine splitting this up by users. There are some advantages and disadvantages to that. Um, but that's our collection. And then our document uh, has a bunch of um, name value um, pairs. So good old, good old name value pairs. And, uh, you know, uh, in this case, the uh, field name uh, is name, and the type is a string. And uh, this, of course, is our username, fake. Um, this note ID is uh, something generated by Firebase, and we'll we'll see that in the code. And that's generated locally, um, so that also has a certain randomness uh, to it. Uh, there's the so, sorry, there's the owner uh, unique ID uh, as um, assigned by Firebase. And then we have references to pictures. So these are our pointers to um, files in the storage area. And we're going to see when, once we go through all the code um, that you know, we're doing two different things. We are querying the Firebase database, and then we are using the strings in here to query the storage object. So there are two separate things exactly um, similar to Notebook, but in Notebook, there were two different tables, and the tables uh, had a relationship, a foreign key relationship, which is a pointer. And now we have a Firebase database and the, the file system. Instead of a local file system, it's the cloud file system. Because again, sorry, even in Firebook, uh, we had uh, path names, which refer to local files. And now we have uh, URLs or you know that refer to this cloud file system. And so this is our note, and the note has uh, these pic these picture UUIDs, uh, which stands for uh, unique something unique identifiers that we generate randomly on the, on the clients. Okay. And, uh, and 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 that's the whole situation. So you know, very oh, and then, sorry, and there's also a timestamp which is um, assigned by the uh, by the server when, when when we store these these items. So a very similar uh, data structure uh, as we saw in Notebook, but it's interesting to think about these two projects because even though they're very similar, we're dealing with notes and we're dealing with images and the notes refer to images, exactly how that's encoded is a little bit uh, different depending on whether we're storing to a, a, a local SQLite database and local files or a distributed cloud hosted Firestore database and uh, the uh, Firebase um, cloud-hosted 
file storage. Thanks.